This is Ken Spector and I'm here today with uh, Linda Nichols and you are the co-founder of an organization called Plug in America, which I will have to say I know nothing about. Can you tell us a little bit about what Plug in America is? Well, Plug in America advocates 24-7 on a volunteer basis for plugging cars, trucks, and SUVs powered by more affordable, cleaner, domestically produced electricity. Interesting. Now, when did you pick up this Tesla? When were you? When did you start driving this thing? Um, that would have been November of 2008. I already have 8,000 fun-filled miles on it. Do you have any complaints about your Tesla? Uh, it kind of is a cop magnet. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a cop, yeah, magnet? It's a cop How magnet? How many tickets have you gotten riding in the Tesla? Well, I haven't gotten any tickets, but I've had some warnings. Some warnings. You've yes. gotten out of them at least. Yes. That, that's very good. Talk my way out. So we, we see the obvious. I mean, what I know about the Tesla is it's an electric vehicle. It's a beautiful car. I know that it accelerates zero to 60 in what, 3.6 seconds? 3.9 seconds. 3.9 seconds. Okay. What are some things that people out there might not know about the Tesla? The car is almost utterly silent. It's got 100% torque from a dead stop. See, that's the beauty of electric drive, is that you've got the most torque when you're stopped. So when I put my foot on the accelerator, the thing literally leaves the pavement. And that is the promise of driving electric. And it seems to do it so effortlessly. There's no vibration, noise. You don't have to get up the RPMs. It just goes. Have you ever gone from 0 to 60 in 3.9 seconds? Quite frequently. Let me describe a scenario to you. I, I come up to a stoplight, say there's nobody in front of me, and a guy in what he thinks is a hot Corvette or a Porsche comes up next to me and starts the vroom vroom business. I just look over and kind of wink and smile. Very cool. And then when the light turns green, I blow his tires off. Nice, nice, nice. Now, can you get into the car? I'd like to actually, we'd sure. like to take a look inside. I've sure. never actually been inside of a Tesla before. Going, it's, she's all locked up, so she, let me get my keys. Okay. What, what kind of key is it? Let's see, take a look at the key. Just a regular, regular everyday, everyday key. key. Okay. Nothing exotic about this. Is the bar battery a rechargeable battery in here? Or well, no? one would think so. One would think so. <laughs> okay. Let's take a look inside of the Tesla. Okay, what do we have here? Is it comfortable? very comfortable. You've got a lot of leg room here. In fact, I have a friend, also a member of Plug in America who is six foot five, who owns one of these, and he fits in quite nicely. And how tall are you? I'm five foot eight. You're five, five foot eight, so yes. you're, you're, you're tall. Right. Okay, so uh, do you have the keys? I certainly do. Would Could you, you start like it up? Start this, I'd love you to. Um, I don't hear a uh, gasoline combustion engine it turning on, don't, do it I? Won't. What you're hearing is the ding ding because the door is open. So it is, it almost feels like it's quieter in the car now that you've turned on the engine. Maybe the beep is sort of uh, distracting me from any of the ambient noise. So what are some of the features in this car? What are we looking at here? We have, what are, what's over here? Well, it, this is, um, you can control the current. Let me demonstrate to you. For okay. instance, if I decided that I wanted charge at a different current, I'm gonna go, that's tools. I'll hit charging. And then let's, I can determine what current I want to go. Now I'm charging, um, the last charge is 24 amps, but I can go up, up, up to 70 amps, or I could go down to 12 amps. So you're able to make a lot of choices. That's great. That's just one of the screens. Um, there, there are all kinds of different screens on this. So um, let me just get out of here. So is this the only computer monitor screen on the dash? Yes, this is the only, uh, really the only one you need. Okay. Uh, this is the odometer right here. Okay. And you see that I've gone 7,939 miles. Um, when I'm, it's a little bit different when I'm actually moving. It, it will give the time, it will give um, you know, energy used, mm -hmm. um, a lot of different things, but we'd have to be in motion. Oh, interesting. And then let's see, what's over here? We have the uh, well, we have we, the emergency brake. And we have something very exotic. We have reverse, neutral, and drive. Reverse, neutral, <laughs> and drive. And then what are the dials above? I can't really see those. Well, those are just simple airflow. Uh, you know, we got a seat warmer here. Uh, we've got air conditioning, just okay. your usual standard um, very nice. creature very nice. features. And now as far as the back goes, okay, it's a two-seater. Yes. How's the stereo system? Stereo system is, is great, and of course you're in a small 
space here. It surrounds you. It's nothing like uh, turning on the stereo, putting down the top, and cruising Sunset Boulevard. So why would anyone who has $110,000 to spend purchase any other car but the Tesla? You know, that is a really good question. I can't imagine why, because the benefits are huge. You never have to go to the gas station. No smog check, oil change, tune-up. You certainly don't need a muffler, do you? Yeah. Um, it, it, the maintenance is just minimal. I've had to go in for a couple of firmware updates, okay. which nothing wrong with a car, but when you think about it, this electric car is really more like a big, beautiful computer then it's a gas-guzzling Detroit product. So I, it's a gorgeous computer moving down the street. So there's really no excuse why someone should not buy this car or the future Teslas as you see it. Well, absolutely not, other than the fact that this is a high-end sports car. Right. As a high-end sports car, of course, it is expensive. But let me put it this way. It is one-third the cost of a Ferrari. Mm -hmm. and, and, and then you don't have the maintenance issues and you don't have to go to the gas station. So you're free. Let's take a look at the battery and let's look under the hood.